Now we're going to move on to a new topic, sequences and series. So a sequence is really a list of numbers. It's just a list of numbers. A series is when you start to add up all those numbers. So this here is an example of a series because you're actually summing up all the terms. Um, a sequence is really a list of numbers separated by, by commas. Okay, so, so this here is another example of a series. And then, uh, well, let, I'll, I'll elaborate more on this as time goes on, but let me just introduce the, uh, the topic first. So, uh, so with, with series, we are interested in summing up. We are interested in summing up all the terms. We are interested in adding up all the terms. Well, if you look at this, um, uh, if you look at this one over n here, well, uh, and then compare this with the function one over x. So, so if you look at this continuous function one over x, when, when x equals one, you put it into here, when, when you put, when you put it into here, it will generate your first term. It will give you one. And now when x is two, put it into the function here, that will then jump to your, your, your second term. And when x equals three, uh, put it into here, it will then generate your, your third term and so on. Um, in, in the previous, uh, in the previous topic, we've seen that when you try and integrate one over x from one to infinity, We've established that the area will just get bigger and bigger and bigger, meaning meaning that the area will diverge. Well, as it turns out, this whole summation here will also diverge. But then, if if you look at this, hang on, if you look at this uh, this series, if you look at this series, uh, one over n squared. Let's compare this series to to the to the continuous function one over x squared. When x equals one. Put it into here, it will then generate your, your first term. When x equals 2, put it into this function here, the one that we, we're going to compare it with. Um, put it into here, that will then generate your, your second term. When x equals 3, put it into here, it will then generate your third term and so on. In the previous topic, we've established that when you try and integrate 1 over x squared from 1 to infinity, the, uh, the area will converge to a, to a certain Definite number. We've, we've established that this will converge. Well, as it turns out, this series here will also converge. So if you look back up here, hang on. If you look back up here, this, this series, if you look back up here, this whole thing here will diverge. Similar to this, this thing here will diverge, but, and then for some reason, this will also diverge. If you look down here, 1 over n squared, 1, 1 over n squared, when you compare it to this, um, this thing here converged, and then for some strange reason, this also converged. So there must be some sort of relationship between, between this and, and this. There, there must be some sort of relationship between this and this. There must be some sort of relationship between, between, between this and this. And, 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 and another way of interpreting series would be this. Hang on. Uh, oh, but by the way, as it turns out, this thing here, the whole series here, as it turns out, it will converge to some strange number, pi squared over six, for some strange reason. But, 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 but then, but we, we can interpret this series, well, we can interpret series as this. Hang on. We can interpret series as this. Imagine you're standing on one side of, a, of the room and you're trying to walk across to the other side of the room. Uh, let's say, let's say you, you take your first step. This is one step. Um, not to scale because one step would be from here to here. But let's, let's just imagine one step is from here to here. So your first step would be one. And then your, your second step is going to be half, half of your first step. So it's going to be half the, half the, half this length here. So half of it. So, so, so this, this is, this is half. See that? So, uh, so let, let's say your first step is one. Your second step would be a half. And then your, your third step would be a third. And, and your, your fourth step would be, would be a quarter and so on. The question is, would you be able to walk all the way across the room? Let's say the room is 10 meters. Let's just say 10 meters. Would it be possible for you to, so if you half your step, um, if you half it each time, um, sorry, not, not, not half. If, if you, if you follow this pattern, 
one first step would be one, second step would be half, third third step would be a third, and so on. Would you be able to walk across the room? Well, as it turns out, you well because because this thing here would diverge because we know that this series would just get bigger and bigger, meaning it would diverge. Um, because because this series would just get bigger and bigger and bigger. Then, then, then we can interpret that as you being able to walk across all the way across the room. You, you can even interpret it as um, because we know that this is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. You can interpret that as being able to walk from one country to another country. You can interpret it as that because because you're heading towards infinity. The the area, sorry, the the series will just get bigger and bigger and bigger. So you can interpret that as as you being able to walk. Any given distance, any given distance, it might take a long time, but because because the series is 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 uh, is, is is heading towards infinity, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. You can interpret it as being able to walk any any distance, even even uh, 128 miles or, or whatever. You 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 can you can walk any you can cover any distance. But then, if you have this series, let's say let's say your first step is one. Your first step is one. Your your sec so so you 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 you're following this uh, this pattern here, one over n squared. So your first uh, your first step is one. Your second step is a quarter. Your your third step is um, is a ninth. The question is, would you be able to walk all the way across the room? The, well, the answer here is no. For some strange reason, you you will reach a certain limit. You would reach this pi squared over six limit because. Because if you sum up, if you sum up this whole series, it will come to, for some reason, it will come to this. And then, as it turns out, if you keep on make, if you keep on taking these steps, um, you will just reach a certain point. You would not be able to reach this, this door. Whereas up here, you, uh, up here, if you, if you take the steps given, given by this, then you can, you can cover any distance. It might take a long time, but you can cover any distance. But then, if you take your steps, if if you follow this rule here, um, you won't be able to cross the room. It it, it will just come to an end. You you would just you would just reach this certain point here, okay?